c components of a culture in a responsible business are uh, certainly to do with the purpose of the business and that's very powerful now in terms of motivating and engaging not just colleagues and workers but also uh, customers and, and clients. I think the next thing is a leadership ethos which is very different from uh, what I call the sort of feudal medieval command and control structures that we've had for most of our uh, most of business history and, and what we're seeing is effectively a need to democratize the workplace um, because that then releases the energy of business the conscience of people who work in business to do the right thing and to act responsibly and I think we also need to change the way that we define and measure success so at the moment it's focused on short-term numbers and I believe what we should be looking at is how businesses contrib contribute in the round to the quality of our society and to the sustainability of our environment, including climate. The role of leadership in driving an ethical organisation is absolutely critical. It goes to the heart of, of human character and the best leaders that we see in business are not in it for themselves, they're in it as a service to humanity, uh, to our environment. The worst leaders we see are those that display what psychologists call the dark triad of behavior. They are narcissistic, they are Machiavellian, and they are psychopathic. And we can see that in some of the political leaders we have around the world. So a, uh, leaders who are driving an ethical and responsible culture are people who have personal humility, they have, um, they have humour, they have the ability to engage people with a smile on their face and they also create a sense of psychological safety so people can challenge them without fear or favour. HR have a really big opportunity to uh, create and help to create the right culture in an ethical organisation and a responsible business. They, but they have to move away from colluding with this feudal uh, coercive control, this command and control mantra that we've seen from the 70s through to the, to the noughties. Um, and they really have to stop being what one non-executive director described as the organisational Stasi or Gestapo. I'm sorry to say that, but that's what he said, it's not my words. And actually challenge the board and the executive team to really see their colleagues as human beings, not as resources to be exploited, used and abused.